WRC3's 10th round of the season, and we're back on gravel, the car breaking gravel of Rally Greece. William Crichton leads a four strong field of M Sport Poland built Ford Fiestas, and his primary focus, the separate junior WRC category. But this also offers an opportunity to haul himself up in the WRC3 standings. He sits seventh overall, and maximum points would vault the youngster into fourth. It certainly started well, he won five of the opening seven stages and led by over a minute. The Paraguayan hotshot, Diego Dominguez, was back in action for the first time since Safari Rally Kenya. He's retired from all of his rallies he's contested this season, but led the category on both occasions beforehand. So perhaps it was this that held him back, not wanting to lead until right to the very end. He won stage three and stage seven and finished Friday in second place. The homegrown hero, Epaminondas Caronicolas, completed the Acropolis last year with an R5 specification Fiesta. The 36-year-old used his experience to complete the day in third. Another homegrown hero, Panos Ismailos, started his local WRC round for the first time. Unfortunately, his inexperience showed. The 30-year-old finished last in every stage. Going into the last stage, he was just over four minutes off the lead, but then the windscreen wiper blade somehow touched the external fire extinguisher button, setting it off and making it fake snow inside the car. Not exactly what you'd expect in Greece. All that aside, he did complete the day, albeit over 14 minutes off the lead. Saturday started well for Crichton, confidently winning the first two stages and by healthy margins. But on the first pass of the infamous Tarzan stage, one which claimed many others throughout the day, he had a wheel hub issue and lost over three minutes. In the afternoon, he was back to his best, winning all three stages in the loop and trying to claw back the time lost on stage 10. Dominguez, who was running in second, would have inherited the lead, but he too struggled on stage 10 although he only lost just over a minute, which meant he held on to his second place. A mighty push on the last two stages, and he hauled back the time and overtook the temporary leader to go into the final day in the lead. But that temporary leader was Kare Nicolas, who inherited the lead, albeit briefly. He won the problematic stage 10, much to the delight of the home fans. The Greek tried to hold on, but succumbed to the more experienced Dominguez. Despite this, he's second, and failing a major issue or lack of concentration, looks set to be on the podium on Sunday. On Sunday, Crichton continued his stunning form, winning all of the three stages, and took Kara Nicolas to claim second. It was a gallant comeback, but just not quite enough to catch Dominguez. The Paraguayan finally broke his WRC3 victory duck. A mature drive through the final three rugged speed tests confirmed his win in the All Ford Fiesta Rally 3. So Dominguez wins Rally Greece by 49.6 seconds over the unfortunate Crichton. Cara Nicolas third, and despite being over 23 minutes off the lead, Ismailos does complete his debut WRC event. In the championship, the big movers are Dominguez, who jumps from 14th to 9th, Crichton, who goes from 7th to 4th. Despite not competing here, the top three remain unchanged. Sami Piari still leads by a point over Yanciani, with Laura Yuna in third. <laughs>